Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Barry Campbell. We are so excited to continue our exhibition program this fall. Currently on view, we have an exhibition by Ann Purcell. Anne was born in Washington, D.C. and raised in Virginia, and then she's lived in Brooklyn Heights now for many, many years. She studied at the Corcoran School and NYU. Her mentors were Jean Davis, Robert Motherwell, E.A. Carmian, and many other artists that you know. She has some great Joan Mitchell stories. We are sharing a selection of paintings called the Cali Poem Series. Anne started these paintings in around 1983, and really it's considered an ongoing series. Um, she worked on these for 20 years and is going back to them. We've selected about 12 paintings for you to view here. I hope you get to see the exhibition at Barry Campbell Gallery. We're in Chelsea. The exhibition is on view until November 14th. And I wanted to ask you, we're sitting in front of these amazing, colorful, vigorous, wonderful paintings. I know you were in Mexico. You studied in Mexico for a little bit. And how did that influence you? Who did you meet there? And, and did you think you were just going to Mexico for fun? Or wh what happened? No. Um, it was a major fork in my life. I had just finished a campaign for the senator. And I kept seeing these older women on the hill, and I thought, if you don't get out of here now, you'll, you'll, you'll never get out. And I just had this compulsion to paint a full day, because I never was able to have... Because you were working... I was working, I was... Writer, and then you and going to school at night. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I never had that luxury of full-time painting. And it was just a compulsion. I wanted to, to know what it was like. So I quit my job. I gave up a huge raise. Everyone thought, you know, I was crazy. I should wait one more year. And I thought if I wait one more year, it'll be one more year and one more year. So I took off, not with a lot of money, to go to Mexico to San Miguel de Allende oh. in 1970, which was before it was so much discovered. The artist had found it, but that was all. And it was just this idyllic town and idyllic lifestyle. And I had two balconies, and I lived over the bakery, which was wonderful. Oh. <laughs> the empanadas were ready Thursday at 7 a.m. Oh. And I loved everything about Mexico, except for the school where I thought I would study. And the, I discovered the painters would take a three-hour siesta in the middle of the day. And I thought, how could they give up that painting time? Like how could they be serious here if they're just yeah. painting all afternoon? But <laughs> I found the writers were very serious, and the poets were very serious there. But there were very few painters. I don't remember the initial meeting, but there was this man, Leonard Robinson, who had been the art critic for The New Yorker, I think from the 1950s till like 19, late 1960s. And his wife was a famous poet, Patricia Guernicke. And Leonard used to come to my apartment that I had converted the big dining room to be my painting studio. And he would come talk art with me and talk about my paintings and the work I was doing. And he like knew Rothko and knew Pollock. And it was just an amazing experience when I look back on it because he taught me so much in a and it kicked you forward to really focus on your painting, I guess get serious about it and make it a full-time, that's what you did all day, was paint. Yes, and, and then at least a couple of times a week, Leonard would come wow. to, to see my paintings. And, and also, I think probably the, the colorfulness of Mexican life and, and also Tamayo, I remember. And I very early on when I was there, I don't know how it came about, but I showed in the best gallery in Mexico City and I was hung in a room with Picasso. Oh my gosh. Um, and I did have a solo show there. It was just an idyllic life. I would make homemade soup every day from the fresh market oh and all the artists would come to my 
apartment because I was near the town square and we'd, we'd congregate and it was like a salon. It was such a different time. It's so hard to imagine things like that these days. It doesn't really No, happen they don't that way. happen. And they're so rigid now. I think artist residencies and those as great as they are, that kind of experience is really wonderful. It really was and it was the mixture of the of the cultures and the the different types of artists, many writers and and it was just someone would bring a bottle of wine and, you know, I had the soups ready all the time, and it was, it was idyllic. I'm so great you were part of that tradition in Mexico. Thanks so much. I hope you all come to visit the exhibition. We're at 530 West 24th Street in Chelsea.